That's the demands of the people of Michigan. This is People's Tribune Radio. Today's program, from the pages of the People's Tribune newspaper, a monthly published in Chicago. These are a series of podcasts brought to you by our readers. Presented here is the cover story of February's 2016 issue, titled, Water for Life, Not for Profit. Please listen. The poisoning of the people of Flint, Michigan, especially the children, with lead and other toxins in the drinking water, is just the latest ugly example of how corporate control of America is destroying human life. Lead poisoning can cause irreversible brain damage and other health issues for a whole generation of children and for their children's children. Flint residents filed a class action lawsuit against the city and the state, and thousands of people have signed petitions calling for Governor Rick Snyder to be jailed. Snyder deserves to be jailed, but we need to go further. Snyder, representing a class of billionaires that own the means of producing what we need to live, is dictator-in-chief of a dangerous political model in Michigan, fascist emergency managers. This system is designed to expand corporate private property by dismantling, quote, democracy as we know it, end quote, seizing control of municipalities and school districts, the emergency managers steal parks, public schools, and more. The corporate theft of local public water rights now underway led directly to the poisoning of the entire city in Michigan. At the behest of Flint's emergency manager, appointed by the governor, Flint switched its water supply from the Detroit system, lake water, to water from the polluted Flint River on April 25, 2014, to, quote, save money, unquote. The water was coming out of the taps brown and smelly and making people sick. Despite the public protests, the city and state did nothing. Finally, last September, Independent researchers proved there were high levels of lead in the Flint's tap water. In October, county officials declared a public health emergency in Flint, and Governor Snyder was under pressure, announced the city would switch back to Detroit water. Underlying this process, computers and robots have been replacing human labor in the workplace for years. We see the results graphically in Flint, Michigan, where General Motors was the center of the industry and high-wage employment for thousands of workers, once needed in production. Today, with robots doing the job, unemployment is skyrocketing, poverty, falling wages, home foreclosures, water shutoffs, and homelessness we see. These are the results when our labor is no longer needed, and a few wealthy individuals and corporations make the decisions about who gets life-sustaining resources and who doesn't. We either end the system of corporate ownership of productive property, or the system will end us. If the people build a powerful movement to take over corporations, we could use the abundance the technology makes to solve all problems to guarantee that no one is homeless or hungry and no one has to drink polluted water. The Flint experience makes clear that the government politicians and parties can't represent the people. We have to start building our own political organizations and whether the issue is water or whatever, we have to demand that the government serve the people's interests. Water should be publicly owned, and government should guarantee that everyone is able to get safe, clean water, regardless of their ability to pay, or regardless of their citizenship. The government has intervened to bail out the banks and other industries 
Why can't it intervene to bail out the workers? Putting this demand forward will start a debate that will help us forward the new society that we need. We must demand that the government guarantee food, clothing, housing, and health care, and safe water for all in our country who need it. The only solution is a cooperative society where the needs of all the people are met. Sun People's Tribune, your story. Its pages are open to the fight for a new society. Visit us on the web at peoplestribune.org or call one 800 691-6888 Find out how people are fighting to create a new society where everyone's needs are met. Subscribe to the People's Tribune and order copies to share with others. Donate at peoplestribune.org We need your support to continue telling the truth. <laughs>